Mixing up hydroponic nutrients is a simple procedure. Today I'm filling up the reservoir in the greenhouse. This collapsible reservoir that I'm using is made by General Hydroponics and holds 60 gallons. It's feeding 570 different cool season plants that are between 4 and 6 weeks old. I start by filling the reservoir up to the 60 gallon mark. Next, I add 180 grams of bionectar. I prefer to use a scale when measuring nutrients, but if you don't have one, it's not a deal breaker. Bionectar calls for 1 teaspoon per gallon. 1 teaspoon equals 5 grams. Since lettuce prefers a lower ppm, I drop the dosage to 3 grams per gallon. I found that it's much easier to mix the nutrients with a submersible pump. I disconnect the valve and point it back into the reservoir. This keeps the nutrients constantly mixing throughout the process. Next, I add the Part B, or Epsom salts. Epsom salts are magnesium sulfate and are widely used in all types of gardening, including hydroponics. I add the Epsom salts at 1.25 grams per gallon. This comes out to 75 grams for the 60-gallon reservoir. After waiting a minute for the nutrients to finish mixing, I need to check the pH. Most varieties grown hydroponically need a pH between 5.5 and 6.5. Generally, I prefer to be somewhere between 5.8 and 6.3. Fill up the clear vial about halfway and add three drops of the tester's solution. Do a quick shake and check the color. There's a pH color chart on the side of the tester's solution. In most cases, I like the color to be a yellowish gold. This batch came out perfect. However, if the pH isn't in the desired range, just add pH up or pH down until you're happy. Now it's time to test the strength of the nutrients. I'm using a blue lab meter that measures EC, TDS, and PPMs. Different people prefer different measurements. I like to go by PPMs because it's used more in the states. The nutrient solution is reading in at 700 parts per million. Again, because these are mainly cool season greens, we are using a lower nutrient strength. When growing warm season plants, it's better to use a higher strength. Now that everything is mixed, we're good to go. Just plug the white tubing back in and let the pump and timer take care of the rest.